In this video, I'm going to show you how I like to create task cards with a little bit of a different background. Um, and I make a template and then I can use it over and over again. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to slide and they've changed this from edit master to edit theme. So I'm going to click on that. And then you have a bunch of different options. I'm going to go down to the blank one that way I don't have to delete anything. So from here, I'm going to go up to shape. And I think this time I kind of want to make like a wavy shape. So they have this one. But if I look under all the options, this one has a little bit more wave. So I'm just going to drag it across. And then it's not as wavy as I want. So this yellow over here, I can kind of crunch it to make it a little bit more wavy. Okay, so this is kind of how I like it. So from here, I'm going to drag it up to the top. And the fact that it's going over is fine. So what I'm going to do is go to paint and I found some custom colors I like. If you're not sure how to find these, if you Google hex codes, you can get hex codes to a bunch of different colors. So this is the first one. So I'm going to control C, control V. I'm going to move it to be in place. Click off to make sure I like it. That looks good. I'm going to make this one pink. And then also I don't want the borders. I'm going to come over here and click on the pencil, click transparent. Same thing here, pencil, transparent. I'm gonna copy it one more time. So control C, control V, down. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'll show you what we can do. Yeah, purple. So this is the pattern that I want to repeat. So I'm gonna click over to the side and I'm holding down and dragging. So I'm gonna control C, control V, and then drag these down. And then control V again and drag down. V again, drag down. I might have to do it one more time. Yeah, one more time. Control. Drag down. Okay. So this is the way that I like it. So what I'm gonna do, because I don't want it running off the edges, I'm gonna come over here, click the arrow, pick the option. So here I have it, but it's off the edges and you can't tell that right now, but it is. So what I'm gonna do is file, download, JPEG. So I can come to this slide, I can, I don't want all this, you might want it, but I don't particularly want it. So I can get rid of all of this. And then once I get rid of all of this, I'm going to add it as the background. So I'm just going to cut all of this out. And then I'm going to go to background, choose an image. It's the one I just downloaded. So downloads. Perfect. So now it actually stops at the edges of my slide where this one just went off the edges. So I'm going to delete that one. Delete this slide. Okay. So from here, what I do is I take this shape, put a rectangle over top of it. And the rectangle is purely to figure out where the center is. So I'm going to make this transparent. Make the border transparent. And now I'm going to pick up the line. So because I have the rectangle, it's going to tell me where the center is. So I can click from purple to purple and then make the line color. You can make it whatever you want. I'm going to make it black. And then I like to make it dash and like two or three. Then I'm going to repeat. So I'm going to go to line. And because I already had these settings, it automatically copies it. So now I have four squares. From here, you can go to shapes. You can pick whatever shape you want. I tend to use this rounded edge. I'm going to drag it to kind of be as big as I want. And then pour white. And then control C, control V copies it. And you'll notice I have the red line going down the center. If you notice this side, I have the blue, which is telling me it's evenly spaced from the black line. Control V, copy again. Same thing, I'm looking for the red line to make sure it's even with the other white shape. 
and then the blue line to make sure it's the same distance from the black. And then one more time. This time I have extra blue lines just because it's measuring with the top and the left. So from here, I can just go in and add my questions to it. Or before I do that, you can duplicate it as many times as you want. I like to have five, so I make five sets. And then just go in and add your questions and you have your task cards that are ready to go.